Hey, you're finally awake. I've been waiting for you to open your eyes for a while now. <laughs> it's no use. You can't move an inch. Not while I am here. What am I? I thought it'd be obvious. I'm a sleep paralysis demon. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's right. The moment you laid eyes on me, you were trapped. Anybody who sees me is rendered completely paralyzed. You can't even scream for help, but you're welcome to try. No, no, I won't kill you. What would be the fun in that? No, what you're about to experience is much, much worse. <laughs> now let me climb onto the bed with you and we can begin. What's the matter? You look terrified. <laughs> you should be. You reek of delicious fear, and it draws me in like a pheromone. I want to consume your mind and thoughts and fulfill every phobia you have until it's just me. Only me. I want to be your every nightmare. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to place my fingers against your head and probe into your little mind to uncover what you fear most. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to find what you're afraid of. Get your mind out of the gutter. How dare you think thoughts like that while I'm inside your head? You, you know exactly what I mean. Don't play dumb with me, human. So many of your thoughts were just so... So... L l l l lewd. And what in the nine hells is a meme? And why do you have so many of them in your head? Uh, this is embarrassing. I'm totally blowing this. I can't believe a mere human would make me lose my composure like this. Okay, pull it together, Kaguya. You've got this. You've got this. What is it, human? Talking to myself? N no, I wasn't. You must have misheard with your pathetic human ears. A terrifying demon like I would never do something so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Listen here, you. Let's get one thing straight. I am not an incubus, or a familiar, an imp, or some other hellspawn. I am a sleep paralysis demon. I feed off of fear, so I need you to be afraid before I can go because I am not going back to my boss empty-handed. Got it? Look, you're obviously not going anywhere while I am around, and I can do this all night, so try to work with me here, will ya? All right. Now we're going to try this again. I am going to probe deeper into where your subconscious lies, and I don't want to see any stupid internet images or weird fantasies about you, uh, or me, or things happening, okay? Honestly, when did demons become so popular in such a positive way? <sighs> Alright then, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh... Now you're just thinking about food. You're hungry? How could you be hungry at a time like this? I am a demon who feeds off a of fear that can paralyze humans by merely having them look at me. And I can create illusions of your deepest, darkest phobias. And you're hungry? Ah, Lucifer, help me. It just figures my first human would be a lewd, hopeless shut-in. Ah, all right, fine. How about this? If you can't focus long enough to show me your fears, then why don't you just tell me what you're afraid of, hmm? What? What do you mean under one condition? Do you really think you're in any position to be making demands of me, a demon, human? Uh, er, well, you're right that I said that I couldn't leave until I'd collected some of your fear. But, but, that doesn't mean that you can extort me into doing things for you. Uh, in fact, 
I only said that I couldn't return to my boss without gathering your fear. I can leave you any time I want. This neighborhood is filled with sleeping humans right now. I could go find another human. A younger one. A, a cuter one. One who's easier to scare. It is what I wish I could say. <sighs> In truth, you're right. The rule is one sleep paralysis demon per human. That way we avoid imposing on each other's prey or encountering a human who has already given all their fear for the night. So, you're right. I'm stuck with you. <sighs> Alright, let's hear it. What do you mean, what? Did you forget already, idiot? Jeez, you just told me that you would tell me what you're afraid of, but only under one condition, did you not? Now hurry up and tell me what it is before I lose my patience. I'm listening. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, you, you can't be serious. You want me to, to, to lay with you? And do what? Cuddle with you? Wait, huh, hold on a minute. I get that it's cold outside tonight, but you can't really demand something like that from me. I'm a sleep paralysis demon. I'm not really the cuddly type. So much physical contact. I don't know if I could handle that. Sh surely there must be something else I can do for you. I, I can make you food. You said you were hungry, right? I know how to make ramen or toast. I can even feed it to you. No? Uh, uh, fine. All right. Scoot over. Er, uh, never mind. All right, I'm going to lay beside you now. I'm going to put my arm around you, so no funny business. Got it? Not like you can move anyway. demon, duh. Sh shut up, creep. And stop nuzzling my neck like that, or I'll make you regret it. I can't believe this is happening. Forced to submit to the will of some human so humiliating. Shut up. I'm just getting comfortable, that's all. This actually isn't that bad. It's kind of nice, honestly. I can't remember the last time I did anything like this with anybody. Not since becoming a demon, anyway. What? N nothing. I was just saying how demeaning it is to be forced to do something so humiliating with someone as pathetic as you. Hm. Mm -hmm. Your elbow's in my stomach. I'm going to move your arm. Hold you tighter. Uh, okay. Like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know how much more of this I can take. This is so embarrassing. Since I'm doing what you want, can you finally tell me about your fears? What sorts of things terrify you? Come on, spill it. Uh-huh. Student loans? I don't really think I can work with that. 
What else? Getting soap in your eyes. No, no, that won't do. Keep thinking. Stepping on a Lego? I don't even know what that is. Next. Forgetting to charge your phone overnight so that it dies while you're not home? Uh, no, no, no. That won't work. None of these things will work. You have to dig deep. Something primal like a fear of the dark or spiders or ghosts. Being in a cage? That'll work. I can work with that. Yeah, like you're trapped inside of a rusty metal cage. Oh, with spikes inside of it. Yeah, trapped and forgotten in some dark, dank, decrepit room. Forced to rot away alone until you slowly... What? Oh. You said stage, not cage. You're afraid of being on a stage. <sighs> I... I guess I can use that. It's not exactly the most thrilling terror in the world, but... Stage fright is still a very real phobia. At this point, it's better than nothing. And look, human, I'm going to go easy on you since this is your first time, so I'm going to make this quick, okay? N not because I like you or anything, but, but because I just want to get out of here already. Jeez. All right. Normally, I'd do this with your eyes open, but I can't exactly create a hallucination of an entire stage in your tiny little neat bedroom. So I'll just create the illusion in your head like a nightmare. After that, you should just fall right back to sleep. I'll be gone by the time you wake up, of course, so I'll just say goodbye here. Also, if your fear tastes good, maybe... Maybe I'll come back tomorrow night to terrorize you again. Uh, but it's not because I like you or anything, moron. I'm just doing my job, so don't get a big head about it. After all, I had to go through all this trouble just to find out your piddly little phobia. I wouldn't want any other poor sleep paralysis demon to come across you and have to deal with you like I did. So it might as well just be me. Now, just close your eyes already. <sighs> Alright. Clear your mind and just relax. I'll do all the rest. That's it. Just let your mind go blank. Focus on the sound of my voice. All right, they're out. Good night, uh, idiot. <laughs>